especially if that's a killer. And I'm a trendy nigga. It's about how I feel on this very day. So a year ago today, right? The sun was shining brighter than ever. Niggas was happy. Niggas was still happy. Let me spit this gum out. And I was saying, I just feel very good because today I have officially been out of the military for a year and life is good. Once I got out of the military, <laughs> I started working for Amazon. What, that following Sunday? Cause I got out on a Friday. It was a 13th and then that following Sunday, I got a job at Amazon. <laughs> I went to the Amazon interview in my uniform. I wasn't playing, I was back on it. After I left Amazon, I moved back to Atlanta and life, life, life. There's been ups and downs, you know, there's been points where, you know, my family had to help me out and, you know, look out for me. You know what I'm saying? Like family, family, family do that. Y'all, I'm gonna just say this. If it's something that you wanna do in life and there's a, I wouldn't say conflict of interest, is it? There's some type of conflict that you feel like is holding you back from doing that. Whether you feel like it's a job that's keeping you grounded to your current situation, you feel like it's holding you back. I mean, if it's within your means to quit, do that. Do what's best for you, for real. Go for your dreams, you know, everything else will fall into place. One thing about life that I've learned is that you don't have to have all your ducks in a row to shoot for stars. You don't. Everything else will fall into place. Like, if that shit is meant for you, it's going to be meant for you, and everything will fall into place with that. It probably won't be an easy process with everything falling into place, you know. Patience and perseverance is... Do I even know what perseverance means? I just heard Big Sean say it. <laughs> yeah, patience, perseverance, all that. It's, it's gonna have to take place. So just be patient with yourself. Trust the process. Everything is gonna fall into line. Stay disciplined with your goals in life and you know achieving them. I wouldn't be where I am today without the mindset that I have. And I'm just so thankful that everything is falling into place slowly but surely. Like step after step and there's been points in this journey where i've just kind of been questioning the process of the journey not so much regretting you know my decisions it's okay to question the process just don't get discouraged to the point where you give up because don't give up like giving up will put you right back at square one where you started because i know for me it's like seeing my progress slowly but surely is always a good thing but sometimes i just want to wake up and be amazed with the progressively fast progress but it's a process to get to that point so as long as the progress is happening no matter what pace you just have to keep going till you see the results that you want and did some. I remember my last day in the military. I remember how I felt. The air was different. The sun hit different. The way I was breathing, <laughs> life just felt so different. It felt so good. It just felt so good to wake up and just know it's it's over. You're done you're done you finished before the point where it was completely official the day was dragging like bruh come on like any second now when that second hit <sighs> oh my goodness bruh i just felt so renewed amazing i was just so happy that I didn't have to do that no more. I didn't have to live my life on anybody else's dime like that ever again. Coming from a lifestyle where it's like active duty, bruh, that's, you on a time for as long as you in there, you know? It's not like a regular nine to five, especially for other um, career paths in the military. But I know mine, it was similar to a nine to five. There were some times where you know, we had to work 12 hour shifts, maybe even more. Um, you know, we get called into work on the weekends. It don't matter what time of day, night. You belong, you are a government asset. You belong to them niggas, so. I, I feel good all over again, I do. And the sun shine the same way. Like, it didn't hit, it's, it's not hitting the same way when it was the last day, but it's shining the same exact way. I just hated waking up every morning, going to work, 
work and just doing the same shit all over again or some other shit. It don't matter. Just just being there. The military ain't for everybody. I would say that it's not. And the people I hung out with in tech school when I was in the Air Force, uh, we still cool to this day. We still got our little group chat and shit. And... <laughs> And we all had the same job. One of them sent a message. They were saying something about uh, they <laughs> they got this meeting or something. They got this briefing to do. They could find some files. And I was like, can't relate with a palm tree. <laughs> I don't know. It just be like moments like that be so relieving. Because it reminds me like, bitch, that ain't got nothing to do with nothing with you at all. But anybody that I know who wants to get out of the military, I just, I feel for them strongly. I do. And it's like... I want this to work for you. I do. But you got to put your best foot forward and uh, finish strong. Finish out whatever you got going on. Finish it strong and, you know, whatever that may be. Whether you finish a contract or not, finish strong. <laughs> Get out on good terms. I support your decision 100%. Make sure that this is something that you really want and make it do what it do. Because life don't stop. But for my people who are considering getting out of the military, definitely have a plan. And when I say a plan, I don't mean have all your ducks in a row. Because again, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that to make your next move. A lot of people are wired to think that way. Like, oh, I have to have it all together to, you know, make this big leap of faith. No, you don't. You don't. Because like I said before, what's for you is for you. And you're going to find a way to make it work. You will. When I say have a plan, have a plan as to how you're going to make it in the real world. You know, the civilian world. Whatever it is that you choose to do, move smart. Make sure that it's something that is 100% solid. It's going to hold you down and take off with it. And when I was getting out of the military, I was prepared that nobody was going to hold my hand through life. Because in the military, personally, I would identify that for me as having my hand held all through life for as long as I'm in there, you know? And I want to I wanna do this on my own. Like, I can do it. I'm capable. I didn't want that for me. Anywhere you go, everything is just easily accessible. Everything is easy. I guess I like a challenge in life because, you know, you go here, everything's already taken care of. You go to medical, everything's already taken care of for you. You go to dentist, everything's already taken care of for you. Give me a little challenge or something. Tell me, tell me, I should have came here with this this file or something. I don't know. Give, give me something to challenge myself with. Being in the military is just like I, I I had my hand held everywhere I went, and I mean that's cool. But at the same time, over time, it kind of made me mentally lazy in a sense, because I know that I really didn't have to do anything for myself everything was taken care of that's the way to live it is it's cool but over time it's like mm, i could do this shit by myself i want to i don't want this shit for me no more i don't i might be talking crazy to some of y'all but th this is just me before i joined it was just like i didn't take all this shit into consideration i didn't take the bullshit into consideration i didn't it was just like I don't really know what I want to do in my life. I know I don't want to go to college. So I already got two sisters in the Air Force. So why not? I see how they live in. Okay, let me do that too. I feel like me growing up, one thing about me and my siblings was like I always had somebody to learn from when it came to life. Um, I feel like I kind of had a cheat sheet to life. Like, okay, well... They finna go do that. Let me see. Let me observe how they, you know what I'm saying, how they how they handling that, how they doing that. And maybe I could do that too, you know? I allowed myself to cripple myself in a way to where I didn't have to think too hard about what I wanted to do and like what I wanted to be. Cause it's like, what's the point when I already have two siblings who are making a life for themselves and they're doing good at it. So Oh, I think I'm gonna do that too. That's kind. That's kind of how it was for me. A couple years in, I just decided, you know, it's no, no, I don't do the shit. <laughs> I don't want to do the shit. Growing up, I was just so petrified of life and adulting and just growing up. I never wanted to grow up. I felt like it was gonna be too much. Like the things that I needed to know about life, they weren't teaching us that in school. Like your parents would teach you to an extent, but it's just like. A lot of times they don't they don't have the the rule book of life or not even a rule book just 
the answers to life and the problems you may or may not encounter. The growing up part of life and the adulting part of life, I could sum it up as this. Pay your bills on time and don't get in trouble with the law. That's pretty much adulthood to me. And then on the outside of that logical part is just like, it's up to you what you want this life to be, how you decide to make your money, how you decide to make a living off of that, how, you know, how you choose to enjoy life, what you do with the people you encounter, you know, just stuff like that, the, re the relationships you build with these people. So basically there's pretty much two spectrums of life to me, the logical side and then the what you want out of life, all that extra creativity stuff. What is life to you? What the fuck is life? side yeah it's just really amazing to me how people are just wired differently when it comes to life and not the logical side just the the other spectrum of life like what they want for their lives and you know not everybody's gonna want the same thing not everybody wants to work from home or you know have their own business or whatever it is they do creative wise to make a living for themselves some people love corporate jobs and that's fine but i hate them <laughs> i do that's why it's just so amazing to me because it's like i love what i do and they genuinely love what they do that's interesting that is when you love something you feel so strongly about it nobody can steer your mind away from that nobody can change what it is that you truly want out of life no matter how hard they try to persuade you so yeah i just think it's amazing how people are wired differently i'm looking at my fish and he playing too much like if you want to die just say that and back to the part when i was talking about how i basically had like a cheat code a cheat sheet to life uh through my siblings you know living theirs when bria passed it was like okay damn well you know i was with her pretty much the whole time when she got out so what did she do to stay afloat you know like what <laughs> what did she do first like i was kind of not really on my own but i was kind of on my own with it like i i had to figure shit out for myself kind of like um beyonce said in her song what song is that uh school in life it's up to you the rest is unwritten it was like, damn. Hi. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> and that's another thing about the lifestyle that I chose that I enjoy the challenges of, you know, me figuring out what's the next step, you know, what I got to do next to make sure that I'm good. And I only like it so much because it reminds me that you're capable of doing this. You have it in you. It's in you. Something that's been pinging on my mind a lot lately is the fact that when Bria got out, she got out at the very top of August and she didn't even make it to, you know, her one year mark of being out the military. And it's just like, damn, I did. I just feel like in a sense, you know, she's proud of me in the journey, the path that I've chosen for my life. But it's like, I wanted to see you on your own journey i wanted to see her really live out life after the military for a longer period of time so i'm just thankful for all the guidance that god has given me the help that i've received from my loved ones and the support i'm just very grateful for life itself i am